Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Linksys router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. The first step is to turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into a wall outlet. Connect the other end to the router. When it's powered on, a light will illuminate. It might take a few minutes for the router to fully power up. Next, plug the cable from your broadband provider or modem into the internet port. This port is commonly called to as WAN and is typically a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you should reset the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the lights on the router to begin flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slim object to press it down. The router will reboot resetting all the settings to their original factory defaults. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable that came with the router to an Ethernet port. Connect the other end to your computer or laptop's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for the connection to establish. Awesome! Your router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. Before we get started, I'll show you another way to connect the router in case you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Simply plug in the router to the power adapter and connect the cable from your internet provider. This will turn on the Wi-Fi if the router is new and hasn't been set up yet, the Wi-Fi network will be named after the router itself. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a label. Get connected to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's get started with the setup. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. On the first page, click here. Next, check the box here and click the Continue button. Then click OK. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. So, on the Setup tab, in the Language section, you can select the preferred interface language. In the Internet Setup section, select the Internet Connection Type. Usually, it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, select this one. 
it's the most common option. In the DHCP server settings section, make sure this is set to enabled. And in the time settings section, you can change your time zone. Now save the settings. Go to the wireless tab. Select the manual option. Here, in the network name field, you can change the name of your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Wireless Security tab. On this page, choose the security mode as I did. Here, in the Passphrase field, you can set or change the password for your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Setup tab and reboot the router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully restarts. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the Setup tab. Open the MAC address clone section. Here, click Enabled. Then click the Clone My PC's MAC button. Save the settings. And you'll need to reboot the router again. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, Contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If you found my video helpful, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below.